Photoshop Smart Objects allow you to transform, warp, and otherwise alter your images without destroying the original information. Let's take a look and see what this means. The first thing we have to do is open the Preferences menu. And on the Macintosh, we do that by clicking on the Photoshop option in the top left-hand side of the menu, and we'll find Preferences. If you're on a PC, you're going to find Preferences all the way down below Menus and Keyboard Shortcuts in the Edit menu. Alright, let's open this up. I'm going to open up the General tab. Now we can also use Keyboard Shortcut, Control or Command K. Place or drag raster images as smart objects. Two kind of theories behind this. The first one is this. If you're pulling tremendously large images into your work and you shrink it down, you're going to lose a lot of resolution because Adobe then has to change that image, interpolate it to fit it into the current composition. If it's a smart object, the only thing that Adobe shrinks is that container and your resolution will be intact because your actual image is never changed. And what does that mean? Right now I'm going to leave it on. I'm going to hit OK. Zoom out here a bit and I'll pull in that image that I had before and drop it into the workspace. Now, if I hit Command Confirm Enter, you'll notice there's a little icon here and it turns it into a smart object. So I can shrink this down and it retains all of that information. So if I then double click on the smart icon, just hit OK, here's the original image in its own container. So we cancel out of this. Any changes that we made in that original image, we've talked about smart objects before, will be reflected in this image. The difference is, let's go back here and turn this off. Pull in the same image. If you look over here, it's not saved as a smart object, so we'll reduce this one to the same size. Somewhere right about here. NumPad Enter. Now, if we resize both of these together, hit Enter, you'll notice that we've lost a lot of resolution on the right hand side because in order to reduce it in size, we got rid of a lot of this image, so now Photoshop has to reinterpolate this, which essentially means it's changing the fundamental image to remove information that's not necessary. However, the one with a smart object, we don't have any haloing going on here between the colors because we still have the original information saved inside the smart object container. So that's basically all that means. It's extremely useful um, when you're resizing images over and over and over. It takes up a little bit more space, but I think it's well worth it, especially in today's age of high definition, high resolution images. So that's all for now. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below, and send any questions that you may have to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks for watching.